So this week I'm going to make a niacinamide hand and body lotion and because it's coming up to spring and I fancied something a little bit lighter. So uh, keep watching and find out how. Here's the formula and recipe for a 200 gram batch. You can scale this up or down. Um, I do have a video on calculating weights and percentages. Um, I'll link that below. So the first oil I'm using is uh, macadamia oil. It's fast absorbing, moisturizing, helps to reduce the appearance of scars and stretch marks. It's full of antioxidants and it's also said to have anti-aging effects. After that I'm adding a uh, kukui nut oil and that helps to reduce any inflammation on the skin, even out the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It's fast absorbing again, extra moisturising and it doesn't clog pores. Then I'm adding camellia seed oil. This contains vitamins that stimulate collagen production. It's said to smooth out wrinkles and fine lines again and it reduces the signs of ageing. Um, to that, we're adding cetyryl alcohol. This helps with spreadability and the feel of the product, and it also aids with stability. Um, then the last thing we're adding, of course, is our emulsifier, and I'm using BTMS 50. This is a beautifully conditioning emulsifier, and I really love using it in hand creams for the amazing feel on the skin. Give that a quick stir together and that's your oil phase ready to go on uh, the water bath so we're going to put that to one side and do our water phase now now in our water phase we're adding 124 grams of distilled water and to that we're adding our four grams of niacinamide um, the niacinamide helps improve the general appearance of the skin including fine lines and skin tone and it also helps pores appear less enlarged it's really easily water soluble um, so what we're doing is putting that straight in the water and stirring until the water goes clear again and then once that's clear we can add our humectant and for that I'm using vegetable glycerin um, you could use uh, propendial 1,3 for example if you didn't want to use this um, so pop that in there give that a stir so that everything's combined and then you need to weigh your water phase including the beaker weight and make a note because we're going to put this and our oil phase in a water bath to heat gently until the BTMS 50 and the cetyryl alcohol have heated and melted. Once those have melted, bring back your oil and water phases, weigh your water phase to make sure that you replenish any water lost to evaporation, and then you can add your water phase to your oil phase and stick blend to create your emulsion. Once you've got your emulsion, you can set that aside uh, because we need to wait for that to cool down to 40 degrees C or less so that we can add our cool down ingredients. Now I ran out of clean beakers at this point, so I added all my cool down ingredients to one beaker and I'm adding them together. Um, so that's everything you see there. That's your uh, four grams of Saligard PCG, your three grams of fragrance, two grams of dimethicone, and one gram of vitamin E. Now dimethicone is something that some people like or some people hate. If you'd rather not use it in your lotion then you can omit that and just increase the water amount um, but I do find it does uh, nice things for the skin and it also helps the lotion feel nice and silky so I do like including it. Um, so now you need to take the pH. For the niacinamide to be most effective you need a pH of around six um, so we're going to use the pH meter that I have that's good for taking the pH of creams and just pop that, turn it on and pop that straight into the lotion. Make sure you've rinsed it off in the distilled water first like I did. And then just read the pH of the initial product. And then what we'll do is uh, see this is 
too high so we need to adjust it down to adjust down we use a 50 50 solution of citric acid to distilled water so we're going to make that now and then use a pipette to just add a few drops to your main batch and then stir that in. You couldn't see me adding it there because I had the camera a bit out of frame, but uh, add it to the main batch, stir it really, really thoroughly, and then get yourself a new beaker and just pop a little sample of it in the new beaker so that you can reread the pH and check whether it's gone down enough. And do that now. This is a bit sped up for you, so you don't have to wait ages. And that came out at a six, which is spot on what we need. So we'll keep that. And then we're ready to bottle up. Now I'm just putting it in this uh, piping bag because it's a bit easier to get into the bottle that way. So now I know the exact adjustment of citric acid for the batch I've made. Um, what I do next time is add the citric in at the water phase um, so that the niacinamide isn't affected by the higher pH whilst I'm making it. Um, I always test the pH at the end when I first make something um, just so that I can get the pH right and then next time I'll use that same amount but I'll also adjust at the end just to check that that's still effective. And here's the finished lotion. Um, I just keep this by the sink because it's very good for the hands. Um, it's also quite good for the face. Um, my husband likes it for his beard. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's got lots of very beneficial oils in there. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. Um, and uh, I also have a Patreon um, if you're interested in some extra formulas. I do post two exclusive formulas there. And I also have a mentoring tier if you need help growing your small business. Um, so I hope you like the video and I'll see you in the next one.